Hi, this is Natalia from the Intellica Technology Consortium, and I'm here to review Intellica 13.1. Intellica 13.1 is a significant release that features performance improvements and new functionalities, particularly focusing on enhanced reporting capabilities through the data extraction command. Let's start with this functionality. One of the key updates is the support for DGN underlays, which now allows user to report on DGN object properties. The data extraction dialog now includes a new display blocks with attributes only checkbox on the select entities page. A new property type was added under filter categories, including entity counts for drawing counts, file size, full path, and file name for drawing property, as well as a list of system variables stored in the drawing file for drawing system variables. You can easily reorder preview columns on the refined data page through drag and drop. Additionally, in version 13.1, you can hide and unhide columns in the final data table while preserving filtering options. The table preview has been completely revamped for improved performance and user experience. Exact data and column width are now calculated and loan tables are abbreviated at the insertion point, displaying only a few visible lines. Overall, the entire engine has been optimized for improved performance. For IntelliCAD versions that support BIM files, users can create architectural spaces using the AC space command. The Section Plane Settings dialog now allows users to change Section Fill settings. And the IFC Layers control now matches the X Player style. Next, let's explore the additions to existing functionalities. The Add Selected command now supports new entity types, including Table, Ellipse, Wipeout, X-Line, Ray, Spline, Point, 3D Poly, Image, and Tolerance objects. A new system variable trim extend mode has been introduced to allow switching between quick mode and standard mode for the trim and extend commands. By default, trim extend mode is set to 1, which allows the trim command to trim line segments without prior selection of the entity and extends lines without selecting boundaries first. If you wish to operate the trim and extend commands as in previous versions, simply set the trim extend mode variable to zero. You can also make your choice directly when using the mode option in the trim and extend commands. In the options dialog under the system tab, a new restore hidden messages dialog has been added, allowing you to choose which program messages to restore that were previously set to not display again. The new Smooth Mesh Convert system variable sets the default behavior for the Convert to Solid and Convert to Face commands. Once set to zero, coplanar faces will merge into a single face, while edges of adjacent faces will be rounded. Setting it to one retains the original faces in the converted entity with adjacent edges rounded. Setting it to 2 merges coplanar faces into a single face without rounding edges. Finally, when set to 3, original faces are retained and edges are not rounded. In IntelliCAD 13.1, a new feature was added to the 3D positioner functionality. You can now move and rotate entities in three-dimensional space using an interactive dialog box for improved precision. The dialog box also displays the number of entities that have been modified, as well as the total number of modifications made. Additionally, an undo button allows users to revert changes without exiting the command. 
For printing and publishing, a new Publish to Web PNG transparent PC3 printer option has been added, so you can print to PNG files with a transparent background. The new PDF SHX system variable determines how text entities using SHX fonts are stored in PDF files when exporting drawings. When set to zero, SHX font text is exported as geometry without additional comments or hidden text. When set to one, SHX font text will be exported as geometry with comments displayed when the mouse hovers over the text. If set to 2, SHX font text is exported as geometry with hidden text included in text searches. Now let's review the UI changes in IntelliCAD 13.1. A calculator has been added to the Properties pane and the 3D Positioner dialog. Users can now drag and drop layout tabs to reorder them and there is new functionality to copy and delete multiple layouts at once. We received feedback that users wanted very specific ways of choosing entity snaps in the user interface. So, to accommodate different preferences, we added the Snap UI Display System variable, and users can choose what works for them. It affects the Draw Entity Snaps ribbon panel, Tools Entity Snaps menu, Entity Snaps toolbar, Ctrl or Shift plus right click menu, and Entity Snap settings in the status bar menu. When set to zero, the default, UI elements display current entity snaps, allowing modification when not in command. However, when in command, the current snaps are still displayed, but selecting one disables active snaps activating the selected one time snap for the command duration. When set to one, current entity snaps are still modifiable when not in command, but during commands, UI elements won't display running snaps, allowing for one time snap settings. When set to two, running entity snaps won't display on the ribbon, menu, toolbar, or Ctrl or Shift plus right click menu. And these UI elements will only be available for setting one-time snaps during a command. The Entity Snap Settings status bar menu is exclusively for setting running snaps, even when in command. We also received feedback that users wanted the Entity Snap status bar menu and the Panel Visibility menu to close differently when making several choices at a time. So, we added the stat bar menu mode system variable and users can specify how they want multi-select status bar menus to close. When stat bar menu mode is set to zero, the status bar menu closes after an option is selected. If it is set to one, the menu will close when you click outside of it. When set to two, the menu closes if the mouse moves outside of its area. It's important to note that if a command is running and the Snap UI Display System variable is set to 0 or 1, the Start Bar Menu Mode variable will not apply and the Entity Snap Settings Status Bar menu will close as expected after selecting a one time snap. This is all I have for now. Please leave your comments and thank you for watching this video.